This video will cover the key points of Documate's document automation software, an easy to use friendly platform that allows you to turn frequently used forms or templates into intelligent workflows. When you log into the application, you'll first go to your interviews up here, dashboard, and that's where you'll see your interview dashboard. Here, you'll see all of the interviews that you've created in the past, and you'll have the ability to edit them. You'll want to start with a new interview by clicking New Interview, titling the interview, and clicking Create Interview. But today, I'm going to show you a prior interview I've created, NDA Interview. Let's click in here to edit that interview. This is now where you are for the interview creation platform. There are two tabs that make up this platform. One is the Interview tab, and one is the Output Documents tab. The interview tab is where you're going to create all of the questions that are relevant to your documents. It's where you're gonna collect information. It's similar to SurveyMonkey or Typeform, if you've ever used any of those, in that you can create questions of different types, depending on the data input that you want. You can type in whatever question you want, and you can add as many questions as you want on a particular page. You can also add a new page to add additional questions of a different type so they can, you can separate them out in an interview. Here, you'll see that I've asked, the first question is, what is the company's name? Very important. Each question needs to be identified with a variable name. Here, I've used the variable name company name. You can choose whatever you want but I like to use things that are very similar to the question name because it's gonna be easier to ref reference them later on. The variable name is what you're going to use for a few things. Question logic, page logic, document logic, and also, and most importantly, to dictate where the information from this question flows into your documents. Let's start with some logic. Here, I've asked the question, is the company located in the United States? Which is a yes or no question. The third question is, where is the company located? With a variety of other countries. So as you can probably guess, if the person answers no to the question, is the company located in the United States? Then I'll want to ask the third question. But if the person answers that the company is located in the United States, then I don't wanna ask question three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the branching logic arrows and set logic to this question so that it shows if United States yes, no, which is the variable name for the question two, is no. Now, when I run my interview, you'll only see question three if I answer no to question two. Now, moving on to the output documents tab. Here, you'll load your output document. Here, that's the NDA agreement file. It needs to be pro properly formatted before you load it, which we'll show you in a second. Now, how can I set up my Word document so that I can load it to my platform? We're gonna show that to you now by placing side by side the interview page and a Word document, which is on the right. The most basic form of syntax is the variable name that is just going to go directly into a spot. So for example, here I have, this is a non-disclosure agreement between company name located in company location and ABC company. Here, as you'll see, I have company name and company location in double curly brackets. And I got these variable names because I use the word company name and company location inside of my interview. So that's very simple. Now, whatever you put in for your company name is going to be populated here as the company name in place of this bracket. Now, you may also want to have logic within your document. So for example, you see here that I have several different clauses that could potentially go into my document. One is a non-disclosure clause and one is a non-compete clause. As you can see here, I've set up logic here, an end if logic, to say that this particular clause is only going to appear if when I take my interview, I answer non-disclosure. 
and we're going to send around some really easy to use instructions on how to set up this logic. But basically, you're going to put these types of brackets and set up the clause inside. Most of the out exterior stuff you see here is going to be standard, depending on whether it's a paragraph, in which case it'll have P next to it, and it's just within a phrase, in which case it won't have the P in it. But this is the piece that will change depending on what your question is. And we'll send you documentation on that specifically. Then, once you've created your interview, loaded your output documents, you're all set, and you get to run and see the product of your interview. So I'll click Save and Run, and in a new tab, my interview is going to show. It's going to be a set of form fields that are including different logic that I've incorporated into my interview. And at the very end, I'm going to see the documents populated with the particular information that I load here. So let me answer this. I'll say yes, and nothing populates. But if I say no, the third question will open up. On the final page, you'll get to review all your prior answers. And then here are your documents. Your documents will be downloadable in PDF, docx format, or you can download them and, and email them to someone else or download them as a zip file.